journey teaches. So here I am to talk about five reasons to reject clients in freelancing. Yes, you heard it right. Why should we reject clients in freelancing? Or even if you are a beginner, you should reject clients in freelancing. So let's get straight into the video. First of all, you shouldn't be afraid to reject clients in freelancing because even if you are a beginner, because it really doesn't matter. I know it's important to get projects, to get freelancing work to do, but not at the cost of your time, your energy and your value. If the clients, your prospect clients are not valuing and respecting your time, energy and your efforts on the dedicated project, then you have the right to say no to them. Just simply deny to them and do not get into this loop of low paying circle and uh, being overworked and being getting underpaid accordingly. If they don't respect your time, say no to them. You do not have to overwork and you do not have to give high amount of time and give so much more value to your work and get only get something which does not satisfy. Just simply deny the offer. Do not think twice if they do not respect, if they do not give considerate respect to your time, to the value you are providing to your clients and if your clients do not respect your efforts and overall if they do not respect you as a freelancer or as a business owner maybe so the second is if they look suspicious that's a clear red flag if they do not have a proper website or some social media handles if they do not have any social proof to show you that they have a particular business or they are the owners of something for which they need your services do not just get into and if they are paying you a high value, a high amount, just do not get persuaded and just uh, cross check before signing the particular client. Double checking is and taking preventive measures is really important and it and is really beneficial before providing the desired value, before providing the desired work to them. So double check accordingly and then only proceed do not agree if they expect you to overwork if they expect you to do only their task and uh, if they expect you to do only their job full time or part time whatever it may be but do not fix the number of hours you work for them even if you want to fix the number of hours the payment should be according to that do not get overwork Set clear boundaries from the very beginning. Set a kind of transparency between your client and between the services, between the time limitations, between, between the amount of value, the amount of work, the amount of timelines you have. Do not ever agree to uh, get committed to their project only and get a very bare minimum out of it. The next is do not set unrealistic expectations. If they have unrealistic expectations from you in terms of overworking, reject them. If they have unrealistic expectations from you in terms of they want you to over deliver, to overwork for themselves, in return you will be underpaid. So value yourself. You deserve much more better and do not let your clients exploit you. These practices hold very true for the beginners as well because even if you are a beginner, you are a service provider, even if you are not an experienced person in your field or even if you are not an expert, but you are a human, you are not a machine, you do not have to overwork and get underpaid for it and you do not have to compromise with your value, with yourself and your services. Lastly, do not ever work for free for anybody because you want to respect your time, you want to respect the value you are given to themselves and it is for you. I know money doesn't matter but money is an additional incentive which you deserve to get. So do not compromise on that. If you want to work for free, work for yourself, yes. You can
can work for free for yourself even if you are an expert you can work for free for yourself anytime anywhere therefore remember my words work for free only for yourself so next time if even if you are uh, facing back to back low paying clients or back to back suspicious clients or even back to back clients who with whom your vibe doesn't match us or with whom you are not looking forward to work with in the future and some things are not resonating the things are aren't aligning at that particular moment do not give a second thought and do not think that you are over expecting from your career from your career as a freelancer it's just a small window of some valuable suggestions for rejecting clients in freelancing next time you come across any such clients you know what you have to do in case you have any kind of queries drop them all in the comments below and i will see you soon in the next video till then take care bye happy freelancing do not forget to subscribe like share whatever you want to do take care